Avalanches and their dangers often make headlines for causing damage and, sadly, loss of life. With several feet of snow occurring recently along the Chugach Range, especially through Turnigan Pass, Mother Nature timed today's Avalanche Awareness Day perfectly. Living with and amongst the mountains means many opportunities for majestic views, challenges for travelers, but more importantly, thrills for recreation, all of which can be impacted by a mountain's biggest hazard, avalanches. That's why every year Avalanche Awareness Day takes place in Turnigan Pass. Just being outside and being in the outdoors, but also instilling some safety things for them and getting out here and just riding in the powder on a beautiful day. It's a day for kids, both young and young at heart, to play and enjoy Alaska's beauty responsibly and safely. But really talk about avalanches, maybe talk about what kind of terrain is safe and not safe when we have these big storms like we did last week. And then we also have some avalanche beacons buried so people can take their skis or snow machines or just walk out there and practice with their avalanche rescue gear. Rescue gear that when activated will kind of make you float. It doesn't quite act like a, doesn't work like a life vest, but it makes you a bigger object and bigger objects tend to float up on top of the moving debris. A reminder that even under this bright blue sunny sky still lies an elevated risk for significant avalanches given the 70 to 90 inches of snow that fell here over the past two weeks. And we just got the special bulletin from Wendy Wagner at the Chugach National Forest Avalanche Information Center. They're going to continue with the same risk levels for tomorrow and early Monday, and that's generally considerable above treeline all the way up to alpine. Still moderate, though, from treeline down to the base of 